Have you dreamed of being a game show contestant and winning millions of dollars? Well, tonight we present our own candid camera game show, but we didn't want to stop at a million, no. <laughs> we figured we'll give away a billion dollars. <laughs> we ran ads in local newspapers seeking eager contestants. Well, they came to a TV studio and actually believed they were playing for billions. Here's our studio with two contestants ready to play. The guy on the left is my brother Bill working for Candid Camera. The other player is about to discover that her buzzer won't work. It's day one, hour three, minute 14 of the Billion Dollar Answer. Here's your host, Dave Monaco. Hello everyone, welcome to the Billion Dollar Answer. I'm Dave Monaco, happy to have you here today. Bill is our returning champion with $300,000. And he'll be challenged today by Janet. We want to get you a billion dollars. Now, players, I'm going to ask a question. And you each have a crack at this, but only if you buzz in first. There you go. That's all there is to it, but be sure you're right. All right, listen closely. If you have just graduated, you have most likely A, left home, B, left work, C, left school, or D, left the military. Just graduated. Oh, Bill, you're in there first. Good going. Oh, and it. what is your answer, Bill? Uh, that's C, left school. You're right for another $10,000. I pressed it, but it didn't ring. Is it possible he snuck in just No, no, because I went like that. Whoops, it worked that time. It Maybe sure I didn't did. press loud. I didn't do it hard no. enough. B, 11, C, 9. D, 18. <laughs> Bill, you're first. I'm going to say D, 18. And you're right for another $100,000. Good move, Bill. J just curious, Raja, did you know it was 18? I did. Oh. Well, well, you slow. see, speed counts. Absolutely. Here's another chance for you to. OK, just was checking. Pardon? I was just checking. All right, but I haven't read the question yet. I know, but I want to make sure it works this time. All right. Now, the buzzers are working, but they're computer controlled, and they're accurate to a thousandth of a second. So whoever gets in there first is in. Players, how many digits are there in a standard Quan's Quart? Standard. A, 7, B, 10, C, 100, D, 40. Digits in a Quan's Yes, Bill, you buzzed in first. Uh, I'm going to say D40. And you're right once again for another $25,000. Congratulations. I'm single. What? I'll just go out with him. <laughs> well, that's another yeah, show. Money, you, don't, you don't get to marry him, Brenda. You just get to play I said, against go out, him. I'll go out with him. Oh, you'll go out I with him. I didn't say well, marry him. Yeah. I see. Well, no, I was thinking of <laughs> another show. C, Titleist, or D, Ford, not a car, not a car. And Bill, you've buzzed in first. Oh, I think I'm good. What is it? What, Jen? <laughs> I buzzed in first, sorry. C, Titleist? You must be a golfer, and you're a rich golfer. You've just won another $10,000. I pressed it, but it didn't ring. All right, players, take a deep breath. Stay right where you are. We'll be back after this commercial message to play our lightning round where things can really double and change. Don't go away. You don't want to miss this on the Billion Dollar Answer. Well, as the game continues, we're going to start using lifesavers, <laughs> lifeguards, life vests, foul balls, whatever. <laughs> but remember, the unsuspecting contestants have never heard these terms, and they haven't been told what they mean. Let's watch. If a plane leaves New York City at 4 p.m., what time would it be in Los Angeles? A, noon, B, 1 p.m., C, 3 p.m., D, 10 a.m. B, 1 p.m. Is that your best answer? That's my best answer. Uh, Dave. <laughs> yes, Bill. I'd like to use a lifesaver now. You want to use a lifesaver right now? Yeah, yeah. 
All right, Patricia, you know what that means. Bill has decided to use one of his lifesavers. Now, uh, that means he turns to you for help with your question. Go, Bill. <laughs> What'd you say the answer was again? 1 p.m. B. 1 p.m. B. You sure? Yeah. Okay. He's right, that son of a gun, another $200,000. Wow. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Most radios offer A, FM, B, RM, C, DM, D, EM. You want me to repeat it? No, it's FM. That's your best answer? My best and final answer. Uh, Dave. Yes, Bill. I'd like to use my foul ball now. You're going to use a foul ball yeah. right at this moment? Yeah. You know what that means. If you're correct, Bill takes your money and continues as our current champion. Can I use a yeah. lifesaver? Pardon? Can I use a lifesaver? Now? All right, Bill, she's going to use a lifesaver. How about that? All right, well, now let's see. He's used a foul ball, and you're going to use a lifesaver. Now that means the foul ball would have meant that if your answer was correct, he gets the money. I'm going to counter again with another lifesaver. Now? Yep. <laughs> I've got to tell you, Elizabeth, this has never happened in the history of Billion Dollar Answer. Recap this for me. He started with the foul ball, then I came with a lifesaver. Did, did he call the first foul yeah. ball? Wow. And then you? Went to Lifesaver, then he went to a Lifesaver, now I'm back at Lifesaver. Uh, Dave, I would like to use my last foul ball. Now you see, as our reigning champion, he's got an extra foul ball. Elizabeth, your answer? A-F-M. Sorry? A-F-M. Is that your best answer? My best and final answer. Now you realize if you get this question correct, Bill wins your money. Are you sure you want to stick with A? I'm positive. You're going to stick with A despite those overwhelming odds. Yep. AFM. You're right. Bill, you've won $500,000. She couldn't help herself. She had to get it right. But talk about pressure. If only she could have phoned Rosie O'Donnell for help. Well, we've got one more round to play. This time, the contestant you saw earlier is going to be stuck with a question that no one's ever heard of. Watch. All right, Janet, we turn to you. Listen closely. If you walked due south from Oscawana, where would you arrive first? Is it A, New York City, B, Atlanta, C, Boston, or D, Miami? Uh, Dave, I'd like to call a foul ball. Bill's called a foul ball. Janet, you have two strikes against you. Bill, you've got $320,000. So I'm going to say A, New York, New York City. All right, Bill, she's going with New York City. There's oh, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do the one furthest north, so it was Boston. And Janet, you're right. Bill, you win $10,000. Congratulations. Wait. I was right? You were right. Oh, it's Boston. Oh. But he gets the money because he called a foul ball. Oh, that's, that's mean. All right, OK. Well, Janet, it was such a pleasure having you. You want to shake hands, yes, and okay. I want to give you a hug okay. because you're such a nice contestant. What would you have done with a billion dollar prize? Um, well, it don't answer that question because I don't have a billion <laughs> dollars right. for you. Well, I uh, hope you win it. In fact, we've got a toaster oven waiting outside for you <laughs> as a consolation prize. Would that brighten your day? Um, slightly. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what's the best part about you, Janet? You've got a great smile. Well, thank you. And you know why that means a lot on this show, even more than money? Because we love to say, smile, you're on candid camera. <laughs> Do you know the candid camera television show? Yes. Uh, are you serious? Uh, this is our little parody of a game show, Janet. 